hey guys welcome back to the channel this is how to use napkin ai so first thing that you will do is go to napkin ai and now just simply click on sign in over here and just simply sign in into an account so i'm gonna go for my google and just simply continue with my google account and now once you are signed in just simply click on over here create my first napkin and you will have two options you can generate text using ai or you can just simply paste the text content that you like so i'm gonna go for this one and now from here just simply paste your content that you want so i use chat gpt over here so this is a infographics for cars so i'm just gonna simply go ahead and copy this prompt over here and now i'm gonna go to the napkin ai i'm gonna paste it over here and now from here, you can just simply go for generate visual and let the napkin AI do the work for you. So guys, from here, as you can see, you will have here multiple templates to choose from. And if you want to go to this template, you can just simply go for styles over here. And as you can see, you will have different style as well. So pretty much it will be depending on you. And now you can go back and you can choose other template as well. And as you can see, it will turn your text into visual. So let's say I'm going to go for this one. And now just simply select a style that you prefer. Now, guys, when you click on the picture over here, when you go to this plus icon, you can add an element over here, which you can type which one that you'd like to add. And now from here, you can change the color as well. And you can go for the style as well, the pattern. So pretty much it will be depending on you over here and you can change multiple borders as well. So it will be depending on you and you can change. And if you want to open the group, you can just simply click on over here. And as you can see, you can edit them one by one. And now let's just simply select them all. And as you can see, you can download it over here and just simply choose whether it's PNG, PDF or SVG. And now from here you can choose a color mode as well the background and the resolution and now from here just simply click on download and pretty much that's it if this video was helpful please like and subscribe and thanks for watching see ya